Hello. Hi. That's Heather. Rose. And today, for Weird Stack Wednesday, we are trying this Adventure Meals Scrambled Eggs. Mm. <laughs> this is uh, specifically designed for like hikers and backpackers, and the whole concept of bringing food to make on the trail isn't that weird, but the implementation is kind of weird to us. Personally, I think I would just build a fire and cook a regular egg. Maybe you're not able to and you just have <laughs> boiling water. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> if you're going to boil water, don't judge me. Anyways, uh, this takes a little longer... It's like more for a survival kit or something. Yeah, for sure. Like if you're going to do like a multi-day... Yeah, survival kit. If I was going to do a multi-day, I'd be bringing a dozen eggs. Yeah, but what if the dozen eggs go bad? This has a shelf life of... A hundred years? <laughs> oh, 2050! What? <laughs> Ew, what? It's just freeze-dried food. Basically, the concept is you, you put boiling water and you reconstitute it. So this is going to take longer than usual. Step one. Wait a um, minute. So when, how long has it been in the bag now? It was made. I don't know when it was made. We bought it the other day, yesterday. Open package at Tear Not. Remove and discard oxygen absorber. Step one. That's like a Twinkie. Twinkies have that kind of a shelf life. Ooh, that does not look appealing. Hold on, discard oxygen absorber. It looks like cheese puffs or something, or cheese curds. Kind of. It kind of looks like marshmallows. No, it looks like cheese curds. Okay. Anyways, carefully add one cup boiling water, stir carefully, and close zipper. It's be, smoking. Be careful with hot objects, people. Wait, you put it in the bag? Just put it in the bag. The whole thing? Is that eight ounces? One cup? It's one cup. Okay, yeah, put the whole thing in. Don't get it on me. Okay. It says to stir it. Oh, man. Oh, this does not it. look appealing. I smell it. Ew. How do we get ourselves into this? It looks like bark. Stop. Before it's done. You zipper it, and then it says to wait five minutes and stir again. So we will see you in five minutes. What? Rose, I have a question. Okay, the timer just went off. Yes, what's your question? So, do they scramble the eggs and then put them in a dehydrator? I don't know. Or do they dehydrate the egg and then scramble it? No, they scramble it first. So, after five do minutes... Do they use a dehydrator? Yeah, no, freeze-dried. Oh, that looks unappealing. Oh, man, I don't want the liquid to spill. Wait, 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 let me look. No, you're not going to want it if you look. I don't want anything we eat when I look. So on the start, package, it you, says bacon. Where's the bacon? I don't, oh, there are bacon chunks. Let me see. Ooh. Okay, so anyways. Ew, it smells. Step four, let's stand for an additional four minutes after stirring and resealing. Why does everything we eat smell bad? This is... <laughs> I'm wondering how old the egg is. It's not that old. We bought it. I know, but... A company is not gonna... But how do we know when they did that? If the shelf life is until 2050, they could have freeze dried that thing for, it could have been already like 10 years old. Yes. Okay, we're gonna and wait another it, four is minutes. Is it a chicken egg? Yeah, it's a chicken egg. What other egg is it? There's geese. This is the longest four minutes of my life. And it just finished. So read the ingredients, Rose. Wait, so number five. Carefully drain excess water from the pouch, stir, and enjoy right out of the pouch. Well, first, let's talk about the ingredients. It's just egg and bacon. No, there's other crap in there. You said tapioca and... Yeah, tapioca starch, which is just a thickener, sunflower oil, smoke flavor. Milk. Uncured bacon, yeast. That's it. Yeast. It's just basically what you would expect into this. Um, I've never put yeast in my scrambled eggs, just oh, saying. It doesn't look appealing. Hold it up. Oh! <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> There's a lot more liquid. <laughs> There's a lot more liquid than I thought there was going to be. This looks like someone barfed. Stop! Come on, you know it looks like it. <laughs> okay, just like someone had scrambled eggs and they the barfed. 
It actually doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Mm, yum. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to have so much excess liquid. <laughs> hey, look, you can see the bacon chunkies. <laughs> it's hot, Heather. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's... Oh, that is, that's nasty. That's disgusting. I mean, if this doesn't make, give you any indication of how disgusting it's going to be. You're spilling it everywhere. Well, they can't see the chunkies. That's definitely... Unless you are in a backpacking situ... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're in, like, a liver life or death situation... That's you paid eight dollars for that bag of puke. <laughs> it's not puke yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're still eating it? Ew, why? Uh -uh. I bet you the dog wouldn't even eat that. I thought it would, it would grow on me. <gasps> Should we try to see if the dog would? No, I'm not gonna subject a poor animal to that garbage. Oh, five minutes ago it was all natural. <laughs> yeah, but all natural mm -hmm. could be. So, moral of the story, if you freeze-dry food and reconstitute it... Moral of the story is get a freaking egg and cook it on an open fire on a pan. <laughs> Alright, what is this weird score? Um, Ew, look, there's a chunk stuck oh, in the top! Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Ew. So, the concept of it is not that weird. Like bringing food on a trail and okay, cooking it. Okay, it's pretty it. weird and it smells like barf. Yeah, but that's gross, not weird. It's weird. I think it's weird that you would have freed, freeze dried eggs that last like 20 years. Well, I mean, in a survival kit, that's not that weird. There's freeze dried food all over the place. Well, what this has taught me is that if I go on a camping backtrack, backtrack, backpack, back, yeah, yeah. that. I am going to pack Food. some things that I can use, like a fishing a fishing thing, some matches, a little pan. Sorry I'm about the camera wiggling. It is on an unstable surface because I forgot my tripod. So she's going to bring... I'm going to bring stuff that I can cook things with and not have this disgusting food. Canned, like something light. I'd rather have sardines in this. Yeah, but if you pack for multiple days, that's going to add weight. Well, in my defense, I would never do that. Fair. I'm going to a hotel or a cabin. Okay, so weird <laughs> score, what would you give it? Aside from it being gross. Three. Yeah, I would give it a three. The concept's not that weird, but the food is gross. I don't know, maybe something else would have tasted better, but the eggs uh, were not good. My daughter puts ketchup on eggs. Maybe it'd be better if you put ketchup on it. And I don't think a ketchup can save these eggs. <laughs> Maybe. Are you, do you want to try it? No, I don't want to. I'm done. I, one little, it was like a sponge. And I, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. And the bacon, that's disgusting. That's like, it looks like someone chewed their bacon and spit it in there. Very appealing, Heather. Um, I don't think there's one thing about this video that's appealing other than me and you. <laughs> nice save. Thanks for watching Weird Snack Wednesdays. So we eat things that are disgustingly weird sometimes, but sometimes we eat things that are good. Let's have a good video next time. So you guys don't have to.